डू वाइल स्टेटमेंट दिस स्टेटमेंट इज यूज फॉर रिपीटेडली एग्जीक्यूटिंग ए ग्रुप ऑफ स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड ऑन वैल्यू ऑफ ए लॉजिकल एक्सप्रेशन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड वर्किंग ऑफ डू वाइल स्टेटमेंट यूजिंग दिस डायग्राम At the beginning of loop, there is a test expression. It is in the form of a logical expression. If this expression evaluates to true, this part is executed. After this, control is transferred back to this, back to the beginning of loop. That is to the test expression, and the test expression is evaluated again. This process is continued till the test expression le or the condition le evaluates to true. when this expression evaluates to false control is transferred outside the loop the syntax of do while statement is as given here so we write do followed by while followed by logical expression or test expression here we write statements these statements will be repeatedly executed till this expression log le evaluates to true end do marks end of do while loop here le is a logical expression and statements are statements to be repeatedly executed till the logical expression evaluates to true though this statement is very useful this statement is not supported by ansi fortran but this statement is very useful for understanding how loops work so let us try to understand working of do loop by using some example here this flow chart is used for calculating factorial of a given number this is a simple program which demonstrates how do while loop works so here we input value of n it is set we set a variable f to 1 variable i is set to 2 and then this expression i less than or equal to n is evaluated value of this can either be true or false if this evaluates to true this path will be followed here f will be multiplied by i the first value of f is 1 so 1 multiplied by That is two will be stored as value of f, i plus one, which is two by two plus one, three will be stored as value of i, and control will be transferred back to the state condition. Now we know that i is equal to three, so three less than or equal to n will be tested, and if it is true, control will be transferred here, and the process will be repeated. So this process will be repeated till value of i is less than or equal to given value of n. when this condition is false this path is followed here we display value of f and then we stop working we can write and execute a program to understand working of this flowchart so let's go back to the fortran id so this program is <coughs> used for calculating factorial of given number and we can see that it has statements as given in the flow chart so first statement is input value of n then f is set to 1 i is set to 2 then there is do while loop this is the condition to be tested or logical expression that will be tested i less than or equal to n then f equal to f into i i equal to i plus 1 and this is end of do while loop at the end of the execution of loop we display value of f using this formatted statement so this format statement displays the string followed by value of f using 10.0 format we have used a real variable to calculate value of factorial because real variable has got a better capacity of storing a bigger number but as factorial is going to be a integer number we do not want to display any digit after this one point and therefore i used specification f 10.0 so let us execute the program and try to calculate factorial of a number so i'll input 
5 as the value of n and then that displays value of factorial that is 120. You can execute this for another number 3 that it displays factorial of the So this is how we can demonstrate do while statement.